Hello everyone, uh, welcome back to Transport Fever 2. This is the Stepford map. And this time around, we're going to, we're going to actually work on taking the, um, the plastics that we got um, under production here and uh, way down here. And we're going to be taking those to, uh, uh, well, their next step in the production chain, right? And that's going to be these here um, uh, goods factories, this one here and this one here. You note that they're in basically the same place. Uh, which means I can uh, I can go ahead and uh, get uh, I'm going to need to get a track over from this operation over to this operation. Now uh, I'm going to start with um, I think this one. Now uh, it looks to me. Well, let's just start time moving, shall we? Uh, so that the the vehicles move. It it seems to me that uh, bringing in the uh, connection from this um, track here uh, is uh, probably the most sensible way to go. Uh, which means that I need to adjust this uh, configuration here, and I need to connect it up into here. Now let's zoom in a bit so the wind goes away. Right. Yeah, and let's zoom back out again, get the wind back. Yeah, right, of course, that all makes perfect sense, doesn't it? Uh, so what I'm going to need to do is set this up with uh, basically uh, through tracks and uh, rejig everything here. So what we're going to do is uh, lock the train in because, you know, that's the sort of thing that we want to do, right? Um... Uh, and, uh, pardon me, I had to adjust the uh, sound in my headphones. Um, right. And so what we're going to do, we're going to grab um, tracks. That's what we're going to do. Um, and it's going to, they're going to bypass like this. All right. And that's uh, relatively uh, straightforward. And then we can, oh, come on, connect. Really? Okay. We can do this. Right. Okay. And then if we do a double slip, and then if we go in here and we reverse that, okay. Uh, that part is uh, done. Uh, before I forget, however, I will put the uh, necessary signals in, right? And because we're going to be running multiple trains through here now, I'll put another set of signals in the middle here. Um, right. Now, I just need to get the uh, tracks here past the... Um, end of the station, right, just like that, and then we need to go over the, well, through the mountain here, okay, and I think we want to come in up around here, so I'm going to uh, get rid of this because it's in the way, uh, right, no, we need uh, tracks, which you know what, if I uh, run the tracks through there, uh, it occurs to me maybe I should put the road back. Um, right. Maybe with a bridge. Yeah, maybe with a bridge. Yeah, let's put that bridge in. You know, just because, why not? Okay, so we have that. Now, uh, what do we need here? We need to get through the uh, mountain. Um, that looks tolerable. 
So we'll do that. Uh, now this may prove to be less than ideal. Um, over here, okay, so we need to get up there. But what I want to do, uh, it occurs to me that it might be uh, smart to make this a... Um, how's that looking under there? Uh, oh, I like. I think I like that. Uh, make this a proper uh, interchanging operation. Too much slope. Too much slope. All the way down with too much slope. Really? Okay. I clearly need to go up further. Uh, which one's the main line? Oh. A main line is the through one here. Ah! You know what? That might well be tolerable. Hey, let's do that. Good. Okay. Now, I need to see if this will connect. Signs point to no. That's what I figured. Um, okay. Well, let's, um, let's back this up. Uh, with this extra distance, I might just be able to uh, get down far enough uh, with some sort of a helix, maybe. Okay, let's see if, you know, I need to start clicking on the right things, don't I? See if I can... Ah, we can make it all the way up here. Wow. Okay, well, we'll take that. And I'll uh, go back here. And do this. Yeah. And we'll go over here. Yeah, I can go probably about... Well, I think we can go that far. Um, do this. Yeah, we'll do that. Okay, so that's slightly better, I think. Now, I need to... Um, well, the interesting question... Okay, so if I put a track there... Too much slope, too much slope, too much slope. Ah, we can get down about there. Okay. Ah, we'll do that. No, we won't. We will uh, bring it all the way up to the junction. Here. Uh, get rid of that signal, because it's definitely in the way. Um, and... Oh no, we need to go back to about here. Uh, and connect. Okay. Well, while I'm in here and I remember what I'm doing, I'll put the signals in. Yeah. Okay, yeah, that's fine. Okay. Well, this uh, will stay above ground. Uh, okay, so if we do this... What? How is that too much slope? Really? What?
Okay, let's try that again. Okay, now it's not. Okay. Right. So, need a uh, signal, say, here. Maybe one here. Maybe a pair of them here. Okay. So that is a uh, proper junction of some description. Yep. That's a proper junction of some description. Uh, okay, now I need to connect the rest of this this up. Really? Okay, we'll do it in stages then. Uh, good. We're over here. Good. Over here. Right. We have a connection. Right. Okay. Now we go in here. Put the rest of the signals in while we're staring at this. Uh... Yeah, both there. Good. Right. Now that we've got uh, the connection between the areas, now we need to come over here and put a station in. Look at that traffic. Uh, right. Uh, okay, so we need a uh, good station. Uh, we're probably going to need two... Well, we're going to need one track here. Where's the goods demand? Right here. Okay, yeah, we'll just need one track. Now, can I get it in on this side? Theoretically, let's try it. Yeah, theoretically that should work. Okay, so this is Metropolis Goods Factory. Uh, okay. Good. Now, I need to uh, somehow... Uh, plumb this into the uh, rail network. Uh, probably about this way. Yeah, probably about like that. Okay. Um, now, we're going to need one of these. One of these. You know what? Probably going to want one of these. And move these out to here. And maybe another set over here. Because we're going to have a busy line here. Uh, yeah, we'll do that. Um, also, uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put a signal here. That's uh, two-way. Uh and that way the trains can come all the way out to here before they uh, block this. Okay, uh, so that one's easy enough. Uh, what I'm going to do, though, is uh, fix that. Yep. Now, we have another one up here, which is a little more problematic. Um, uh, maybe not. I wonder... Can I, if I stick one of those in here, uh, can I get it in from over here? Uh, well, if I go back about this far, that's the Cityville Goods Factory. So, uh, Goods Factory. Oh, yeah, that's good typing. Goods factory. Yes. Okay, good. Now, uh, can I get this down here reasonably well? I can. Okay. Well, we can live with that. Um, uh, 
I don't think I need to double that, but I'll bring this up here. Uh, about that far, I guess. And do this. Good. Now, we'll need uh, one of these, one of these. I think that's, yeah, I think that's the right, uh, yeah, that is the right uh, path there. Um, let's just make another one of those. Uh, right. And uh, we'll put one of those here and also make that one two-way. Okay, so that will allow us to get uh, our plastics up to uh, the goods factories. And that um, that's uh, probably a uh, simpler process than I thought it was going to be. Now, let's, uh, let's plumb in some lines here. So we'll have a new line. And we're going to go from the chemical plant there to the goods factory. Can't, can, I didn't double slip a switch. Uh, okay, so this is going to be uh, Mayberry. Um, what was I uh, calling it? Uh... Cargo. Uh, where is it here? Really? Uh, where is it? Mabe. Okay, yep. Yeah. Uh, Mayberry Chem to Cityville Goods. Yep. Yeah. Okay, now we'll go in here. Click on that. Double slip it. Okay, yep, yeah, we're good now. Um, okay. Now we're going to add another new line, which is going to go from this one uh, all the way up to, where is it? This one. I didn't double slip this one either, did I? Yeah, okay. Right, so this is going to be Cargo Rail, Danville, uh, chemicals to metropolis goods okay now what we want to do is uh, find a uh, depot that we can fling some trains at and I think this one will work so we're going to again with the diesel uh, we'll uh, use an SD40 uh, cargo. Now we need to carry plastics, which is going to be a box car, I believe. Uh, box car. That one, yeah, it's box cars. Um, that one is 30 tons. That one, okay. Yeah, we'll we'll we'll, we'll grab that one. Yeah, we'll put that many on there. Uh, okay. We're going to need two of at least two of these. I think I'm going to need four of them, actually. Um, but let's go with two. Uh, right? So we have that one. Okay. So uh, this one is uh, going to go on the... Um, Mayberry Chemicals to Cityville Goods. 
Yeah. Yep. And this one is going to go on the Danville chemicals to Metropolis goods. Okay. Now we'll close that out. Now, um, uh, what I should also do is uh, bring uh, steel in from here uh, up to here as well. But I think I'm going to do that with trucks. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that with trucks. Um, yeah, uh, trucks would be uh, the way to go on that. Uh, okay, so I'm going to... Uh, um, Let's, uh, I'm just going to leave that train moving in the corner. Uh, we're going to need a building, uh, which is going to be one of these. And I'm pretty sure we're going to need two, um, yeah, because we're going to need to deliver the uh, goods into a town, um, So yeah, uh, we're going to need uh, two of these uh, a platform things. Let's make them 30 meters. Uh, let's rotate this thing. And we're going to put it on this side. Uh, like this. Yep. Um, now let's uh, configure that. And we're going to add uh, some uh, uh, length to the uh, platforms here. Why? Uh, because uh, we're going to have uh, have potentially some buildup of uh, uh, goods there, right? Uh, and then over here, uh, we'll put another one, but we only need one uh, platform, um, which, uh, let's see, I can put it over here, uh, like this, back it up to about here, yeah, that'll work, uh, okay. And uh, now I need uh, to put a uh, road in there. What? Oh, turn that off. Um, this one should be fine, but I'm going to run it with a bus lane. Um, why? Uh, because if I run it with a bus lane, then uh, we won't get as much. Uh, um, as much traffic uh, from. Uh, uh, what do you mean? What do you call it? The uh, AI type stuff. Um, okay, let's take a look at that. Uh, now, if we do this, we can actually keep it underground. I might do that. If it's underground, then we won't get, um, uh, we won't get AI or, or uh, you know, uh, the, uh, Uh, the uh, towns uh, building uh, buildings along it. Okay. Okay, now we can do this. Yep. 
uh, and that keeps the uh, keeps my uh, uh, stuff here from getting uh, all uh, bottled up, right? So we're gonna need a uh, truck thing, which we're going to put over here. Uh, yeah. Uh, okay. We'll do that. Now, there's something else I'm going to do. I'm going to bring up this, and I'm going to take ownership of the uh, entire thing so nothing comes in and messes with it, right? Over here, over here. Right, so by doing this, the towns won't come in and uh, helpfully upgrade the roads to local streets. Right, okay, good. Now, I need to uh, come over here. Uh, we're going to buy cargo. Now, um, Peter built carries everything. But it's really long. Uh, it carries 25. Uh, but this one carries 17. And you know what? I'm going with that one because it it actually won't look as uh, terrible. Now, I think I'm going to need 10 of them. Uh, okay, new line. We're going to go from here to here, right? And this is going to be a uh, cargo truck, uh, river, Riverdale uh, steel to metropolis goods yeah okay um, we're going to uh, rename these steel mill yeah and this is metropolis goods factory yeah okay good right uh, let's uh, let's grab one of these and just take a ride on the truck just for something different right um, now if you're having uh, issues with traffic uh, getting in the way of your uh, uh, transport routes uh, at, you know, due to towns, you can potentially try uh, something like this. Put them, put it your uh, roads in tunnels, uh, your transport network in tunnels, and then uh, only come up above for uh, uh, stations. Right? Uh, okay, so we're coming. We are moving steel around. Good. Now, of course, this trick won't work for final delivery into the towns so much. Although it would be nice if you could put your um, uh, and put your uh, uh, stations underground as well. Uh, but this will definitely uh, eliminate uh, conflicts from uh, a from the. Uh, uh, a town gridlock, right? Uh, especially if you have a map like this one where it just uh, spawns gridlock uh, for the lols, right? Um, yeah, okay, so this uh, this is actually uh, not too bad. Now, of course, doing this when you don't have three billion in the bank is uh, probably a trifle expensive, but uh, this definitely 
does mean that this road won't ever conflict with the uh, town traffic. Uh, and the reason for that is the towns, like the auto built stuff, doesn't connect with tunnels. So, yeah. And I suppose it's not really so far fetched to have stuff uh, transported in tunnels. I assume that the, these tunnels have some sort of ventilation scheme or something. Uh, otherwise, uh, the train tunnels would be issues too. Right. And here we go, coming back up into the light. I also mark these as bus lanes, a two-lane road with bus lanes on it won't uh, pick up AI traffic unless there's no other path, so that's why I did that. Uh, okay. So far, so good. Oh, and of course that closed my uh, train uh, window. Right. So I think the uh, next uh, uh, the next part is going to be uh, involving delivering uh, uh, goods into New New York and Metropolis uh, from both uh, uh, stations or, or like one from here and one from here and then these that should uh, that should get things uh, rolling and then I'll uh, need to do something about the traffic I'm pretty sure the problem is through traffic like up here and I don't think there's any way I can fix that as if we come over here you can take a look even after I uh, uh, took out the natural town growth uh, we've still got the towns have grown together oh and uh, you can see in here I've done a little bit of fiddling around adding uh, local uh, train connection uh, train transport and that has made a difference in the traffic around here but not enough of one uh, so I need some more local uh, surface uh, you know trams or whatever um, and also I need this stuff to connect through to some other locations I'm pretty sure if I get some more uh, 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 more uh, passenger transportation uh, through this area it will uh, help as well but it's uh, difficult uh, because I haven't worked out the details and we don't have quite enough control over uh, lane uh, allocations and so on and because the uh, AI traffic will never ever pass a slower moving vehicle if it's in the lane that it wants to use uh, we don't have a lot of options but I'll have to see if I can trace where the traffic is going and see if I can uh, make some alternate uh, roads or whatever to uh, bypass some of it. Anyway, uh, that's not the uh, the thing for this uh, episode. Uh, instead, what I'm going to do is uh, pick up this train. Uh, where is it? It is... It has picked up some plastic. Let's just jump on board and ride this train uh, up back toward the uh, uh, the Metropolis Goods Factory. Now let's see how well our uh, scheme there actually works. When I first um, 
came up with the plan to move all of like to adjust all of this stuff to connect over there I thought I was gonna have to build more track than I had to and uh, you know I, I thought it was going to be a much bigger production than uh, than it has been so far but this actually connected two major uh, bits of uh, the rail network and uh, that uh, that gives us quite a uh, a, quite a uh, large uh, network of uh, rail lines that uh, where we can get trains from one place to another. I mean, it's not a completely perfect every train can go everywhere, but it doesn't need to be, right? It just needs to be the trains can go where they need to go. Um, yeah, uh, you know, go where they need to go. That's kind of the point, right? Uh, ultimately, though, uh, I think, uh, I don't think there's all that much more to, uh, to really connect up, like, on complex, uh, supply chains. I need to get, uh, another steel mill online and, uh, be delivering steel to the other, uh, goods, uh, goods factory. That might be the pro the the plan for next time around actually, because uh, the other steel mill is going to use this line as well. So uh, that will be uh, a major uh, uh, thing there. Ultimately, what it means is we're going to have even more uh, high uh, income lines, right? Uh, and we're going to end up, you know, probably like a hundred billion in the bank before the map uh, completely dies, right? But I think um, once uh, once I put the concerted effort into uh, fixing the uh, the traffic in that one corner of the map, there, uh, we'll end up with uh, a substantial uh, improvement in a whole bunch of things. I really did go tunnel happy when I was building this, didn't I? Oh well, that's that's not a big deal. Uh, oh look, it's another train. I'll probably need to spend some time balancing these uh, lines as well. Uh, once the full chains are operational and they can get up to full capacity. Uh, I'll need to spend some time balancing everything. And it just occurred to me how I can uh, possibly improve my uh, transportation between towns and the like. I just gave the answer uh, when I was uh, uh, doing the, uh, the steel transport trucks. Uh, move uh, the town transport stuff underground. Yeah, th this is a long line. Uh, I must have uh, been thinking about that when I set up the uh, the map. I must have realized that I was going to need these long transport lines. I spent, uh, you know, I spent a bunch of time setting up the industries on the map, but I didn't, um, I didn't uh, put any effort into remembering how it all was going. So uh, by the time we got to uh, doing this, I don't remember how any of it was put together, right? Okay. 
we've come onto our uh, uh, siding or our, our uh, connection point here. Might need to come through here with the smoothing gun or something and, uh, you know, improve this a bit. But, uh, yeah. Yeah, this, uh, this part works okay, uh, I think. Then we come along, yeah. Yeah, this, this, uh, this looks like it all works nicely. Yeah, this is the new bit of track we put in uh, this time. Uh, yeah. Overall, I'm I think I'm good with uh, with how this is uh, moving. You know, this is freight, so we we're not concerned if the uh, uh, the transport is uh, moving less than uh, max speed for the locos. Um, but the SD40s are uh, hauling the stuff, you know, with uh, uh, you know, with efficiency here. You know, we're we're actually uh, gaining speed here, and we're uh, um, a little over half loaded. So. Oh look, that looks to be our other uh, uh, plastics train. Okay, now we're coming back up to the original uh, tracks that we connected to. Yeah, now we're back on the old network. And at some point I might need to come through here and uh, put in some uh, extra tracks and some bridges. But I don't think the traffic's going to get to the point where that'll be a huge issue for most of this. Uh, there's going to be a busy bit around the towns here, which uh, may benefit from some uh, extra... Uh, rail work. Uh, I'll have to uh, look at that once I get everything uh, uh, all plumbed in. But with the number of trains we have running right now, it doesn't look like it's too big of an issue. Uh, what I might do... Yeah, I think I'm going to need to double up the plastics trains, uh, ultimately. I'm not sure, but uh, I might. We're just about at the uh, destination here, so that's uh, looks like everything works here. So that that's a good sign. I'm gonna jump out now, and we can uh, 
uh, observe how much it pays when it arrives. And it's just about and yeah six mil so uh yeah that's uh that line's going to work nicely and uh, we see yeah okay uh so yeah next time around it'll be uh probably bringing steel up uh for the other uh goods factory and then uh then that that'll be a fairly large undertaking because i'll have to connect the uh uh, two coal mines and two iron ore mines up to it. Because um, we don't... Yeah, because we just had the one... Okay. Now, I'm going to just uh, check here. Industries. Uh, product. Um, steel. We have four steel mills. requirements right uh, the other two steel mills will uh, will be producing uh, uh, machines okay um, <clears throat> before I go to wild is there another steel mill up here don't see one in the immediate vicinity oh I could connect that up uh, yeah I don't see one in the immediate vicinity um, let's get this back uh, product um, steel right okay we got one way over there we got one over here we got two over there and Florin. One. Yeah, so they're all, all three of them are down there. Okay. Uh, so, uh, yeah. Uh, that, that'll almost certainly be the uh, project next time around. Is uh, getting the uh, steel uh, production online. And I'm wondering if maybe I shouldn't use... Uh, some trucks just to do things differently um, so over here we've got two iron a coal where's another coal and a coal we can get them down here nicely I'm thinking I might do that with trucks just just to do something different yeah well anyway uh, that's going to be it for this uh, this part. So, uh, yeah, stay healthy. Uh, don't let the ongoing apocalypse get you down too much. And see you back next time.